sticking these here in the sink. Sorry, I got a mess here. There's Harrison, and these are all the ones I found. There's John Adams, but I held out on you. I found probably the most desirable one, the one I was looking for, and I didn't put it in the video. Next will be the clip of it. And if you miss me digging these Mark's presidents, at the end of the video, right up on the left, will be the video. Just click on it and you can watch it. If you haven't watched it, um, go into my playlist and watch it first before you watch this one, maybe. But these are cleaning up beautifully. There's uh, Andrew Jackson. You can see how cool they are. I got a whole pile of them there. But next, wait till you see which one I found. And I'm going back there after that. I'm going to see how many more I can get later. Another one. This might be George Washington. I think it is. And what a god that is. Pez container yesterday. They got rust staining on them, but that's that lime away stuff works wonders. And you can see this. That's George Washington. I would say I'm 90%. Yep, Washington. Look, he's got a flag. Oh, right, and he's got on his military uniform. Awesome, folks. John Adams and George Washington. Right there. Man. Man. All right. I'm heading back down in here. Right there's that big tree I dug by. Found that nice uh, vitre marble. Right there's my hole from just a couple of videos. I need to do a lot more in here. There's trash all the way down that hill there. But we're going down. You saw the GW from yesterday. And I never really thought about it when I was digging them. On Independence Day, I found George Washington, James Adams, or John Adams, uh, and all these other, early, Andrew Jackson, Garfield, and you know on the 4th of july what are the odds of that so i kind of quit um it was hot it's hot now it's like 95 degrees at least but i'm down in under the shade so it won't be that bad i'm gonna stay a few hours and see how many more of them we can get and there's got to be marbles down in here too so we're gonna see what we can get, folks. I'll get back on my first find. Talk to you then. So on my last video, there was a tree right there and I was finding them right up in there. You know, there's only so many of them, but I see one. See if you see it, right there's the tree. I pulled it down out. But do you see it? We got another president, folks. All right, I was, I was praying that I was gonna find some. There's a coffee cup, but it ain't, it's just a plain one. You see it? Uh, that's an older, it's an early president. Huh. That looks like Madison, maybe? James Madison? It is. Who is the man? Look, he's holding something like a scarf. He's got the little ponytail. Man, these are nice. Let's see, the 4th or 5th? 4th, 1809 to 1817. James Madison. Man, the founding fathers. And I started finding these on Independence Day, like I said. What are the odds, folks? All right, I'm gonna just get put this in a bag so it doesn't accidentally get lost. You know, these mean a hundred times more to me. Then, and look, I found another one of these bowls. Yeah, that one's got a chip in it, I guess. It does. It's another one of them Cavalier bowls. I thought it was whole. I dug it out right when I got here. And I would have had three of them, but that one's break. But I got another one. And it, they mean so much more to me since I dug them myself than if I bought the set in a box, you know. Old Mark's toys. That's a good find, that one. Hopefully I can get a few more. There, you know, how many of them could be here? There's only so many presents. 
Well, there's other Mark's toys in here. This, I think, is a turret that would have sat and it would have had a gun up here. But like an anti-aircraft gun to an old Mark's playset. You can see it there. The gun would have fit right in there. Maybe we'll find a gun. I'll see. Look at that. That still has the label on it. Calvert. Didn't have no embossing. I ain't taking it, but I just wanted to show you that. No more so far. I might not find another one. That might have been it, but I'd say there's more here someplace. All right, I got a marvel here. It's probably a blue cat eye. I'm um, right in around where I found him. Mark's toys. See, there's Pepsi bottles coming out and stuff, but right here. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just a blue cat eye. It's an average marble. Man, it's hot. You know, I dropped it. You can see there, it's real nice condition. Just a blue cat eye though. But we got another Mark's figure, so I'm happy. Yeah. You know, there's another figure. It's either a rabbit or it's some kind of animal, but the heads broke off. Huh. Never seen something like that before. Too bad. A marble roll out. It's right there. This one's got some color. Let me get it wiped off. And I'll get right back. See, it's got color to it. Lay that. Well, that ain't bad. It's a marble king. I knew they'd be in here around them toys. It's nice condition. Red, white, and blue for 4th of July. I'll get back at you later. He had on the presents. At least I got one more. Um, but there's another Crush bottle. It says Crush International. Evanston, E-V-A-N-S-T-O-N, Illinois. It's real nice condition. I'm going to take it because I don't find that bottle very often. But I'm looking. I'm going to look all around here and then I'm going to go look around and get out of here. It's so hot. I'm just wringing wet with sweat. Later. Another marble. Raked it out of the back wall up in there. You know, not very many old bottles here, but there's marbles and toys and I can make videos. But right here, it's another blue marble king. Hold on and I'll clean it off. All right, right there she is. Nothing to brag about, but real nice condition and can't complain. Marble King patch and ribbon made in probably Peyton City, West Virginia or St. Mary's, West Virginia. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna die. It's so hot. Well, you can see all the digging I've done. I haven't found any since that one right off the bat. I must have got them all and they came in little boxes. They were probably thrown away in the boxes down over this hill in a bag or something and the boxes are gone and the plastic figures are all that's left. There's other toys in here and stuff vintage when there's a big wheel off of a truck or something. Um, got a few marbles, I think four. Um, I'm gonna look around a little bit more, but after this, I went to the river this morning, found a few interesting pieces, a little Lavanna style triangle with a tip, minute tip dang. A real cool old, real old lock, probably from around the Civil War before. It has a lock plate on it that swings over. Um, and I'll show, well, I showed the rest of them figures. I'll lay them out and get some pictures and put on here. And I'm getting them soaked and cleaned up. They look good. And giveaway winners will be at the end of the video for the 10,000 subscriber giveaway for that awesome stuff. I'm gonna go home after I leave here and pick the winner, so. Good luck and congratulations to the winners in advance. Um, I might go that way a little bit, but I'm about ready to get out of here. But, you know, I decided to go over in this opposite direction a little bit because there's other sets of them and with newer presidents and I haven't really found those. See if there's anything over here and I got a marble it's right here. Just looks like a cat eye, but we're chalking them up again. Oh, it's a two color one, folks. Look at the peach, and this is a little better one. This is the best one in the last couple days. Let me get it cleaned off. Yeah, this is nice. Look at that kind of orangish, kind of sunrise color in that. With the off-white, the blue. That's pretty. That's really nice, and the condition's awesome. The condition's awesome. That's a beauty. It's got brown right there, so it's really three color. That's nice. Man, I'm glad I stayed a few minutes. That's a good marble. 
it's better than them other ones that's for sure i got about five or six in my pocket um laid out yeah i missed 19 out of 20 figurines i find are busted and that's an oriental and that would have been nice it's got gold gilt on it just the head ah that would have been cool the jars this way right there's an a blue ball mason with a lid. I'm gonna keep the lid, but right there's an Atlas Strong Shoulder Mason. Um, I'm not gonna stay too much longer. I'm just kind of looking, and right there's where I found all them presents. I'm just kind of looking over here to see if I can't get one more. There's definitely marbles over this way. There's another one right there. This looks like a cat eye, but yeah, it's one of these. Well, that looks two color, maybe. Let me get it clean. It's two color. It's red with brown tips on it. That ain't bad. You can see the darker colored tips on it there. Real nice condition. Another one. But I'm gonna get out of here now. Go ahead and pick the giveaway winners and relax. It's too hot up here. I'm gonna end up being sick. Losing weight from sweating. I'm gonna get him and eat a bunch and whew, drink a bunch. Let me say I'm leaving. Took a couple more rakes and there's another marble could probably just stay here and make another video but it's just so hot this is a yellow cat eye you know these are nothing to brag about but the condition's so nice it's worth taking when you're making a video pretty nice condition look at it so i got seven or eight now All right just a few seconds later there's marbles everywhere in here i thought that was going to be an awesome peewee look at the iridescence but it's a bead see the holes there on the end but right here's another marble oh it's got purple on one side hold on see there's all kinds of little toys well what's that eh, it's not there's a poker chip let me get this cleaned off all right that's pretty nice real nice purple on that side white and kind of reddish marine see that's a marble king too but we're chalking up the marbles. I'd like to find some alley agates or some like vitres or peltiers. I'm gonna do a few more rakes. Now I know I'm always saying I'm getting out of here, but I gotta get out of here. It's it's way too warm today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I always say I'm leaving, but I had to do a few more rakes. And man, I'm glad I did. I have this bottle, but look at that. I have a cork top murine too. Maybe I'll show them. They sure as heck don't make this in glass no more. The Murine Co. Incorporated Chicago, Illinois. And look at that ACL. That's beautiful. The new little cap. Now I got two of these. I will show the other ones right after this clip. I might do a few more rakes, but I'm going to have to go. This is cool. A cool find. And like I said, I have a cork top and boss Murine. It's probably the first bottle. And we got... James Madison folks. Alrighty then. Later. All right, here's the murine bottle. Man, that looks nice for coming out of the ground. Just a little bit of rust staining there, which will come right off. Here's another one I dug. You know, the one I dug today is better condition. And here's a cork one. Murine for your eyes, Chicago, USA. That's rather cool. That's really nice. But I told you I'd show you. There they are. Later. All right, here's one more murine bottle real quick. This one's embossed. It's probably the one right before the ones with the ACO and then the cork ones before that. Murine for your eyes, Chicago, USA, and it's got a recessed panel on the back where it would have had like a paper label. And these would have had the little bulbs at the top. I'll put up some ads after this too. Old ads for murine. This is an old product, you wouldn't think. They're still making it today. Later. Fourth of July big traffic. I haven't seen much else. It looks like it has a tip neck, but it looks like a Madison, but it's like a Lavanna style with that. It's a shame.
machine it's got that little tip neck man that's a nice little point real paper thin it's impacted right on the tip huh. not much is gone a lot of these are broke just like this with the tip gone now oh, there's a point I'm on the board almost sift a little bit they raised the water so it's screwed up which stinks big time I was in a good pocket over here and now it's way too far underwater but I'll get back if I see anything in my screen this is the place I've been in, in my last video where all the pottery's laying and I spotted this out in the water and look it's got designs on it it's real green that's what the co the big colonial coins look like they're patinaed like that but that's a button it's a wee little one you see the shank on it there you know not my cup of tea but I'll take it and put it in a frame um, you can see all the pottery and stuff laying in here. I'm going to do some screens and see if I can't come up with something. And if not, I'm going to get someplace else. Screen. You can see how it's compartmentalized. And this metal thing here has a crown on it. You can probably see that. It even says something. I'll clean it up with a brush. But I'm pretty sure this is an old lock. And this is the, the plate that's switched over to put the key in. I don't know what this is, but... I'm pretty sure you can see there's the I'm pretty sure that's a lock I'm gonna take it um, I'll get back I like to add this this is a salt glazed crock lid with the blue on it would have fit down on the top of a crock to seal it. Oh, that I would have, I could have used that. That would have fit one of the crocks I have. That would have been awesome. Oh, it didn't look like much, but you can see the hole in the center and the little knob here. This is an iron buckle, and look at the corrosion on it from being here on the shore. It's old. I got here in about an hour and a half. You know, some real beautiful translucent flint. And that even looks kind of work, doesn't it? A little bit. Um, some cores. There's a piece of hematite that's busted, but it's faceted. It's just destroyed. This little button. It's probably a cuff button. It looks like it might have a flower on it or something. You can see the shank right there clearly. Um, I got this lock, and it says something under the crown. Um, you can see the crown there. It has words under it. I'll clean it up and put a picture up in this video. Um, the little Havana style triangle. It's still kind of nice. It's damaged but not much. Little impact on it. And that's what I got. I'm going to leave because, you know, when I was sifting here the other day, I found out on Mocha Point, the water was clear out into the air. And I'm throwing throw, and throw out no matter how it's just gonna ruin it and it's there ain't much up here it's all laying out there off the off the beach so i am going to get out of here and go someplace else all right let's do this all right here's this point from my last video um i think it's a lamoka i'm pretty sure it fits right on plates of them didn't find many like that well i could I found other ones. I think there's actually, yeah, this might even be a Lamoka too. You can see how it's got that. They made these off spalls and they just didn't finish the base. It's not broke at all. That's just how it's made. Same with this one. You can see this is from a different stretch of river, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is too. Um, these are all recent finds pretty much. Uh, got this nice shell pen and I'm gonna go back to this place I was gonna go today but there's so much boat traffic today that it's just a nuisance I'll go up and sift on that I find another piece that's leached apart on big drill holes um, I found this here it's a Mississippian site um, this just off of it you can see like little Madison's whatever you want to call them wee little ones but these are all recent finds. I found this in around the Shell Midden too. That's a Jack's Reef. The barbs are all, it would have had hanging barbs. It's Kashocked and it's real thin. There's a drill. All of these points are on video in this frame. There's lots of rubbed hematite in here. 
there's a blade I found in two pieces and it fits back together. I sifted it on one beach. There's a big pentagonal. That's pretty nice. There's a Jack's Reef pentagonal right there. Just lots of stuff. There's the gun flint. I found this this week. It's beautiful. It's a nice one. Beautiful gun flint. I like this point. It's like red jasper. Um, there's little Riverton points up here, a gorget, but it's got damage. Um, some blunts. There's some a few Amoses in here I haven't put in other frames. There's one, it's got a barb ding. There's another little one with a barb ding. This one's pretty nice. Not bad. Pentagonals and stuff. But I just wanted to show you this one to put that front point in here and that I found yesterday. Um, I'm heading to a dump now. This will be at the end of the video. I just put this on for you people would have just subscribed. I got a bunch of subscribers here recently. Little thumb scrapers in here. But anyway. Like... Alright, it's that time. We're going to pick the winners for these 10,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, there's three points in here from Alabama. A drill, a projectile, and a knife. An axe from West Virginia. And call that a dog leg Thebes or a lost lake. It's awesome. It's from Coshocton County, Ohio. Hate to get rid of that one, but I'm thankful for the for you guys watching. Um, we're getting 328 comments. We're going to hit it twice for these. We're going to hit it twice for every one. Hit it once here. Now we're going to... Hit it again. And the winner is for the first set, JC Miller 4206621003. So congratulates, congrats on 10K. Well, JC Miller, I'll put my email address in the bottom. Send me your address. Put a comment down below here so I know you've received this in this video and I'll get this stuff shipped right out to you. You got three nice pieces. The drill's just superb. It just is. Drills are hard to find. So we got that one. So let's pick another winner. We're gonna hit it twice for the grooved axe. Once. And I'm doing it twice so you guys will know it's random. Pick another winner. Start for the awesome big grooved axe. Here we go. Georgia Flynn Hunter. Congratulations on a milestone. Couldn't happen to a better person. I love your adventures. Thanks for giving us the opportunity on some great artifacts. Well, Georgia Flynn Hunter, I'm glad you got it, buddy, because of your name. I know you look, and who wouldn't want a grooved axe? They're tough to find. It's been a long time since I found one, buddy. Now, my favorite piece of the giveaway, this. It's got one plow ding here, but that's gonna happen in a plowed field, and that's a beautiful piece. That's a centerpiece for any frame. Coshocton County, Ohio, just the heart of, made of Upper Mercer, Coshocton Flint shirt. That's a beauty. It's over a hundred dollar piece. Pick another winner, start, and then we're gonna pick another one after that two times to make it random. Pick another winner, start. Right here. Here's the winner for the Dog Leg Thebes. Winner, Douglas County Diggers. What an achievement, brother. 10,000 subscribers is an absolute monster goal, especially the way you did it. Just hard work, determination, and staying after it. Congratulations, man. You deserve all the praise in this category. Thanks, man. Well, you got an awesome piece, buddy. This is a smoker. It's got fossil inclusions, like quartz fossil inclusions in it. It's just super. You know, look at that base. Ooh, buddy. You got a good one. Like I said, down in the, in the description of this video will be my email address. Make sure you guys acknowledge that you won. I'll go back to the giveaway video and try. I gotta work on this video. You don't understand how long this takes. You know, it's probably pushing 5.30, 6 o'clock now. I got up at like dark ate breakfast, went to the river, didn't find much, but found some stuff. You know, I got a point. Um, 
and some other cool items then went to a dump and by the time you do that and take a shower get home because you're filthy then do a video it's way after dark it's just an all-day process to get a video every day it's over 12 hours when you're fi trying to find the stuff you know so i will try to uh get a comment on you on the tell you you won after this launches and make sure you comment on this video and put email me your address that's probably the best way i'll get it right away well congratulations folks and i'll do another giveaway here in about a week with some awesome stuff you know i appreciate y'all watching i do i'll continue to do the giveaways i'm always on the lookout and i got all them bottles to trade so that's why i bring them bottles home i'm looking for marbles i trade almost all the bottles to antique dealers which i'm going to do again here soon and get some smoker bottles for like trade a thousand bottles for like a smoker bottle right up here will be my last video where i found all kinds of these presidents and right up here will be an arrowhead hunting video all you have to do is click on it to watch it happy fourth of july hope everybody had a good one hope everybody's taking it easy and staying cool right up here right up here two more videos later